Katowice. Today I'm going to take you for lunch to my favorite restaurant in Katowice, Poland, which is called Śląska Prohibicja, in other words, Prohibition. As you see, it's located in a beautiful historical old area of the city, which is located a few miles away from the city. You can find there the most amazing local food and the stunning decor. I highly recommend. And now let's go check it out. So our soup is finally here, let me try it out, but first let me tell you what it is. It's called Żurek, one of the most popular soups you can get in Poland, especially in Silesian region in Katowice. It's just perfect, I can tell because it's not too thin, not too delicate, it's just a combination of flavors, I can see big chunks of sausage, big pieces of bacon, some chunks of potatoes, so let me try it out. Yummy, 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 I'm excited. Mmm, it just tastes like my mom's home cooking. Perfect! Yummy. Yay! One of our two entries has already come. This is what I have. This is called Rolada Shlomska. This is one of the most popular traditional Silesian food, if not the most popular one. So on the plate I have just a big piece of beef, which is called Rolada, and some potato, round potatoes, which look like round mochis, Japanese mochi, and kind of the texture reminds me of mochi. So let me check it out. Oh, I forgot about one thing, two things, this, which is meat sauce, and that, which is red cabbage, steamed red cabbage with big piece of bacon. Let me try it now. Here we go. Oh, it's not that hard, it's actually pretty soft, surprisingly. It kind of reminds me of of burger. It's beef wrapped up with big pieces of pickles, onion, and bacon. Delicious. And now, round potatoes. It has to go with meat sauce. Just a little bit on the top. Dip it and try it. Mm. Tastes like Japanese mochi balls. Really good. And then I stop with garnish, which is a good combination. Now let me try the cabbage. It has a very exquisite taste. It tastes just like red cabbage with bacon. Good though, perfect. So guys, this is my favorite dish on the menu at Prohibition. It's called Pavlova and it's gonna blow your mind once you try it. Very thin sugar coat layer of pretty much everything you expect from a dessert. It's like the best thing you can get. Let me try it. Once you bite into it, you see the angels and the God and you're in heaven. Let me try it with this wonderful black currant sauce on the top. There's whipped cream with raspberry strawberries. Oh, oh my God. The best 
thing ever. It's like my favorite thing here at Prohibition. I'm happy. Our next stop after Prohibition is a bar Mlechne located in the heart of the city of Katowice. Bar Mlechne, literally translating to milk bar in Polish, is a Polish form of a cafeteria where you can find traditional Polish cuisine made from fresh ingredients at low prices. When you're visiting Katowice or any Polish cities, you cannot leave without having lunch at milk bar. And when looking for one, be on the lookout for bar Mlechne because you can easily miss them as, as these milk bars are more like holes in the walls and will most likely not have any fancy logos or signs at the storefront. The decor inside will give you a nostalgia of your high school cafeteria with old Polish grandmas serving you delicious home cooked meals straight from their kitchen. So here we have a traditional Polish plate which contains potatoes which look and taste like Japanese mochi. Uh, it's called Kruski Schnolski. Another thing is um, cutlet, bread cutlet with egg filling and a lot of herbs. Another thing is a bread crepe with cheese and potatoes. And this, as you see, is just mashed potato with meat sauce. But it's very yummy. Right here, I have very traditional Polish soup called beetroot soup. In other words, barscht, which contains usually egg. Um, it has a very nice, very cute color, which is purple, and it's very peppery and very salty, so it's really nice. And finally, my favorite, pierogi with meat, onion, and cabbage. So I'm very excited to try pierogi. Let's start with my favorite which is called, as I said before, Kruski Śląskie with my favorite meat sauce and now let's try it. Mm. As I said, it tastes like Japanese mochi. Very gummy. Not too gummy, it's just perfect. This, right here, you see, this is mashed potato with meat sauce. It's like potato ice cream. Very soft, very mushy, very creamy. Um, the taste is kind of mild, it's not strong, it's super creamy. I like it. The first cutlet, as you see, contains eggs, potatoes, onion, pepper, salt. Polish people usually just add salt and pepper. I'll dip it in the sauce and I'll try. It's not crunchy. It's more soft. Um, it has very exquisite taste. I really like it. And you can basically find it everywhere. It's very popular. Finally, the cheesy bread of grapes. Oh, it tastes... I'll try. It tastes just like Russian pierogi, pierogi pierogi. It's just in the form of grape. Very, very tasty. A lot of cheese. Finally, I can try the most iconic, my favorite Polish dish. Pierogi. So, this is minced beef wrapped up in a very soft dough, as you see. It looks really, really yummy. And the pierogi I have are steamed. So, let's try. Oh, this is onion. Let's try. Mmm. The meat literally melts in your mouth, and this is a combination of salt flavor, like very savory, and then 
kind of sweet because of the onion. I love it. I really love it. So now it's time for me to try the soup. Mmm. So much going on. It's a mixture of different flavors. I taste an egg, beets, parsley. Yummy. I love it. Excited to try this soup because it looks really cute. So now I'll wash it down on this little cute bread hero, which is compote. Very traditional homemade juice which is usually made of grapes, cranberries, raspberries, strawberries, pretty much everything we have at home. Um, let's try it. Hmm, very fruity, very light, sweet, but not too sweet. I love it. Perfect. Yep. Now, let's try another Polish beverage. Just kidding. Thank you guys for watching Where and What to Eat in Katowice, Poland. We're now in Paris, France, working on our next video. So stay tuned. If you guys like my video, click on like, subscribe. We have so many fun stuff to share with you guys. So stay tuned. Bye, y'all.